Hello, I'm Dr. James Bogash, expert in health and longevity and creator of Bogash Life and Balance. And I should have titled this Beating a Dead Horse because for 20, year now, 20 years now, I've been talking about the importance of the microbiome and our gut bacteria and how they are. When we foster the growth of good bacteria, it is our friend. It helps us in every aspect of health, including respiratory infections. Gosh, almost a decade ago, we knew that probiotic use in children lowered the risk of both ear infections and upper respiratory tract infections. This isn't new news, but what do we do in medicine? We bombard people with antibiotics without any thought about how to rebuild them. As a matter of fact, in one study that showed up to 75% of patients with COVID got an antibiotic prescription. And I will tell you that my patients who have had come in and they almost always universally say that they were given antibiotics. No, gosh, sometimes that makes sense, but in very few of these cases are the patients actually have an indication of a bacterial infection that needs antibiotics. And you can rest assured that using antibiotics will set you up for the next respiratory infection without a doubt. There is no question in my mind that the evidence is that strong that if we destroy our naturally occurring bacteria that support us and protect us, that it sets you up for the next respiratory viral infection. Um, I, I can't stress that strongly enough. Uh, and sure, uh, one of the videos I have uh, in the queue is to talk about how many people die every year from antibiotic resistant bacteria. It's far, it, the numbers will shock you. Um, but this was a particular study done out of Mexico looking at um, almost 300 people by the time they 293 completed the study. They were given, uh, followed for 30 days and they were given to a, a probiotic containing two different forms, uh, both of them so combined two billion colony forming units, which is a pretty low dose, but the results were really pretty staggering in that um, the people who had complete remission, that means symptoms and viral clearance, both by, uh, so just in general, complete remission, the probiotic group was 53%, and in the placebo group, it was 28%, almost double. It turned out as an 89% improvement in how fast they recovered. Those people were also more likely to have viral clearance at 15 and 30 days. They had a better immune response, higher levels of IgM, IgG uh, against SARS-CoV-2. They had less days of fever, less days of cough, headache, body aches, shortness of breath, nausea, diarrhea, abdominal pain. Like, you know, I don't know what else to say. You know, we were continuing, you know, this was a small study, you know, uh, almost 300 people. This is not the first time we've seen multiple meta-analysis linking upwards of 10,000 patients and respiratory infections. The data is clearly there to make probiotics a standard for upper respiratory tract infections. Um, instead, we have a tendency to go the opposite way and use antibiotics when we should be going the other way and supporting our bacterial flora. Um, these results are just as much in line with pretty much any drug we have or probably will ever develop against SARS-CoV-2. Uh, despite that, don't expect this to come to your national media source anytime soon, uh, but it's just, I don't know what else to say. Like, I, you know, like I said, beating a dead horse, I've been talking about the benefits of the dangers of antibiotics and the benefits of building our own normal flora for decades, literally decades now, and it's still is a problem that most people, most doctors don't understand uh, how bad it is and how long it takes to recover from a single course of antibiotics. Years later, your gut microbiome has not recovered from a single, one single course of antibiotics. So, uh, how many of you have gone without antibiotics in the past six months, one year, two years? I, for me, it's been gosh, I want to say 30 plus years since I've taken an ibuprofen, an antibiotic, any type of medication at all. So uh, as always, I'll post a link to this particular study in the description. Make sure you like this video, share it with somebody who you think needs the information, and subscribe to the channel.